Good afternoon, everybody. We are sorry for the delay, but we are about to start right now. I would like to, of course, welcome right now our panelists who are here with us. But before we finally introduce them to each and everyone who are here with us and to all our media friends, we would like to start for our start event, of course, with a prayer. Our loved ones, our businesses, and whatever work of evening. At this point, to officially welcome each and every one to the press conference of the World Travel Expo 2022. We would like to welcome right now, of course, our friend from At Asia Conventions and Exhibitions International Corporation. Let's welcome, or, okay, that's correct. All right, before Ms. Miles Caballero, we would like to have first our friend from Ocada, Manila, the Senior Manager at Destination Marketing and Partnership, Mr. Carlo Baldonito. Uh, Caballero, Managing Director of Ad Asia Exhibitions and Conventions uh, Corporation. Ms. Wendy Ni, Vice President of Strategic Marketing, Okada Manila. Mr. Alvaro Ramos, AVP Retail and Leasing, Okada Manila. Our friends uh, my, and my colleagues from Corporate Marketing and Communications, media partners to the panel. Good afternoon. Now, during the 21st uh, World Travel and Tourism Council, which was held in the Philippines earlier this year, industry experts have lauded the leadership of the Department of Tourism for their continuous efforts in revitalizing the tourism industry in the country, which has been steadily you know, recovering in spite of the ongoing global health pandemic. Now, looking ahead, it has been forecasted that an average annual growth rate of 6.7% will happen over the next 10 years, exceeding the Philippines' overall average growth rate of just 5.6%. Now, in the nearly two years where international and local travel was put on hold, Okada Manila has been busy preparing for the day when our country would be open to the world again. And I'm happy to say that slowly we're getting to that stage again now. In fact, we've seen quite a lot of revenge travel lately. So it is my honor to be here during the press conference of World Travel Expo here at Tocada Manila, the amazing La Piazza uh, Restaurante, and at Asia Exhibitions and Conventions that officially marks our property as one of the premier expo or trade show destination of choice in the Philippines. And this would not be possible if not for the trust given to us by Ms. Miles and her wonderful team from Ad Asia. And we at Okada Manila are very honored to hold the very first ever face-to-face -face travel expo at our property as co-presenters, together with the Philippine Airlines, at the 6th World Travel Expo 2022. We're very excited to mount this event in October 21 to 23 and welcome close to 10,000 guests per day in this three-day expo. Now, guests are able to enjoy the products and services of 259 booths from travel agencies, tour operators, airlines, as well as various lifestyle merchants in a 5,758 square meter space at the Crystal Pavilion. Again, thank you. And before I go, again, welcome to Okada Manila and I hope you enjoy lunch later today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, JC and Kathy. Thank you for the introduction. Allow me to acknowledge the presence of our sponsors and partners for this year's Sixth World Travel Expo 2022. Our co-presenter, Okada Manila, Ms. Wendy Ni, VP Strategic Marketing, Mr. Alvaro Ramos, AVP of Retail, and Mr. Carlo Baldonido, Senior Manager for Destination Marketing and Partnerships. Also, our co-presenter from Philippine Airlines, Mr. Leonard Brian Sansolis, Sales Regional Head, Ms. Marisa Di Maanos, a Sales Assistant Vice President, Mr. Keith Javier, Manager for Activation and Engagement. Ms. Terry Ramila, Senior Officer for Activation and Engagement. From PNB Mabuhay Miles, our official bank partner. Ms. Sheila Kaeg Bilog, VP Head of Products and Partners. Mr. Johan Gan, Portfolio Management Division Head, Guard Banking Solutions Group, PNB. Our gold sponsors from Philippine Air Asia Inc. Ms. Trisha Terada, Air Asia Super App Communications and Public Relations Manager. 
Miss Jensen Ngo, um, Air Asia Assistant Route Marketing Manager, Miss Wang Rivera, Super App Head of Travel, and Miss Iket Gallardo, Senior Executive Branding. From Lioness Aesthetic Clinic, Miss Christine Makan. From IMS Asia Philippines, IMO, our official eye care travel partner, Mr. Earl Hayona, Senior Marketing Manager. From Global Tronics, our official led billboard advertising partner, Mr. Carlo Tuliao. Our silver sponsor, MX3. Our brand, our bronze sponsors from Aqua Planet. Mr. Samuel Chen, Vice President Sales and Marketing. Mr. Mark Christian from Rehab Group of Companies, Dr. Mary Gauso. PATA Chairman, Mr. Bob, Bob Sosobrado. Thank you, sir, for coming. And also from, I think is here, from Turismo, Mr. Mike Herrera, President and CEO. Members and friends from the media, headed by Ms. Pers Bernardo, Ms. Abby Nuestro, Mr. Paolo Placete, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. World Travel Expo is the brainchild of Ad Asia Conventions and Exhibitions International Corp, which was successfully launched last October 2016. Initially, we only aimed to execute a travel fair just like any other travel shows under organizations and private entities. We didn't realize that the demand was so high that the first event led to the success of the second, third, and fourth World Travel Expo. We plan to hold the biggest World Travel Expo in its fifth year to claim that we are getting bigger and getting more influential. Suddenly, a pandemic came and all our projects were hit and halted, leaving us with no choice but to postpone the 2020 physical event and hold an expo or conference last October 2021 using a virtual space platform. I would like to personally thank Mr. Carlo Badonido for his unending patience and persistency for us to finally hold our event here in Okada, Manila. I was hesitant at first because here in Okada is so well known as a five-star hotel, so the price may be too expensive for our comeback physical event, but came to realize later on the advantage of holding an event to a new venue for a travel expo, especially if it's here in Okada, Manila. Number one is the Wi-Fi, the advantage of our sponsors and exhibitors from the airline industry and travel and tour operators and agencies who can do business and sell tickets and tour packages. Number two is the free parking for everyone. They also provide a convenient location for our dear sponsors, exhibitors, and to our members of the press, a parking space near our Crystal Pavilion. Number three, shuttle buses for our visitors is in the key areas. We, we will soon announce this in our social media platform. And lastly, their support in this event as they help us advertise and promote the events through different social media platforms also to their more than 700,000 Reward Circle member. Am I correct, Sir Carlo? <laughs> Again, thank you, Okada Manila, for this opportunity. Moving forward, World Travel Expo has proven to be the marketing platform for the travel industry. The event serves as a channel between the international and national tour operators, airline companies, and travel authorities. The event itself advocates in championing, supporting, and promoting the best local and international travel options all year round. WTE has brought the ultimate deals and affordable quality prices for travelers, will benefit from getting information on places to visit as well as transportation and accommodation opportunities. On its sixth year, it will showcase at least 230 plus booths in over 5,758 square meters of space occupying the other half of Okada Manila's Crystal Pavilion and will consist of affordable travel services, packages, and more activities which can provide useful and helpful information for both the exhibitors and visitors. The three-day expo consists of fun-filled activities, presentation from our sponsors and exhibitors, and also the much-awaited winners for the annual travel photography competition and video montage competition. The event will also run from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. so the visitors can relax and wait 
for the 6 p.m. show of the Spectacular Dancing Fountain. With our partnership with Tiger Resort Leisure and Entertainment Inc. Okada, Manila, and the trust given to us by our sponsors, Philippine Airlines, PNB Mabuhay Miles, Philippine Air Asia Inc. First time that we have an airline after five years. <laughs> um, and all the sponsors who are present here today, we can now claim that World Travel Expo is bigger better and more influential as we move to a new destination and home for the travelers. World Travel Expo is back and now ready to rebound. Join us this October 21 to 23 at Okada Manila's Crystal Pavilion. Let us all come aboard and travel again, mga ka-wanderers. Thank you so much, Ms. Miles. Thank you so much, Miles. Again, a warm round of applause to the Magic Director of Bad Asia, Miles Caballero. And uh, yeah, she's right about the first two things that she mentioned a while ago, the free Wi-Fi and the free yes. parking. is a big factor. You know, I've been with World Travel Expo for the past six years, and yes, we can really say that I think, you know, World Travel Expo found its really new home this year. So again, a round of applause to our friends from Okada, Manila. Of course, the co-presenter for this event, palakpakan po natin sa the ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much, Lopada Manila, for this. And now, I just want to actually introduce and pay the right amount of respect and attention to each and every one of our panelists. If I call on your name, please do stand up to be acknowledged. So, we'd like to call on from Philippine National Bank, Ms. Sheila Kaeg Bilog and Mr. Johan Gan. From Air Asia Philippines, Ms. Trisha Terada and Ms. Jansen Ngo. Thank you. We'd also like to call on Ms. Wang Rivera and Ms. Ika Gallardo. Legionist Aesthetic Clinic, Ms. Christine Makan. Okay, next one we have Ms. Sir Carlo Tuliao from Global Tronics. Actually, we have here as uh, one of our panelists is Ms. Rhea Manali. Hello, thank you so much for being here. Next, from IMS Asia Philippines, IMO, Mr. Earl Hayona. From Aquaplanet, we have Mr. Mark Christian Agustin. From Philippine Airlines, we have Mr. Leonard Brian Sansolis. Ms. Marisa Dimaano, Mr. Kit Javier, and Ms. Terry Romilla. From IWG, Ms. Rowena Bravo Natividad. From Rehab Group of Companies, we have Dr. Mary Gao Song. Pata Chairman. Mr. Rob, uh, sorry, Mr. Bob Sosobrado. And from Turismo, Mr. Mike Herrera. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, our panelists and sponsors for the World Travel Expo 2022. Again, a warm round of applause for them. Now at this point, Kathy, we will be handing over the microphone to our panelists to say a few words to each and everybody to, you know, to greet all our guests, of course, our media friends, and to tell everyone as well the reason why they joined, of course, this event specifically. And uh, maybe they can share also what is it that's going to be in store for all the guests during the World Travel Expo when they visit their corresponding booths. Exactly. All so right? we'll go ahead and start from here. Yes, definitely. Okay, we can so start from we can start with Dr. Mary Gauso. Yes, please. Dr. Mary Gauso from Rehab Group of Companies. Thank you and good afternoon, mga kawanderers. Sabi nga. So, um, I'm so happy to be with the uh, World Travel Expo again. Uh, I've been with them since 2016 and uh, with um, the company under me as the president and CEO, 12 companies, but we just selected the three companies that is related to world travel because we have other businesses uh, not related to travel. So I'm the president and uh, 
uh, of my hometown and rehab, real estate hub. So where real estate business takes place. So I think everyone needs real estate. So anything you want, we have 12 branches and we have a lot of uh, um, networks uh, nationwide and worldwide as I'm one of the past national president of appraiser and uh, also well connected uh, all over the Philippines for real estate and uh, been uh, teaching in uh, St. Benil for past nine years and uh, also a hunting class in BSRM for Trinity University. Other than that, uh, we have two uh, boutique hotel, one located in Mandaluyong and one located in uh, Makati, so, uh, uh, named BGC, Be at Your Greatest Comfort. So I'm so happy to have uh, this opportunity again with Miles and with JCs around. So we'll make sure that all attendees, even the exhibitor, will be very happy and it's really worth joining World Travel Expo 2022. Thank you and God bless everyone. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Ria Manalili, the COO of Global Tronics Inc. Um, this is the first time that we are joining this event, and thank you for inviting us. It's a privilege to be part of this activity, actually. No? Um, what is Global Tronics? Again, this is something new to us, but Global Tronics is the uh, um, leader in digital innovations. We provide LED screens such as this. Ito po ang sample ng LED screen, but this is not ours, okay? <laughs> but we provide uh, kiosks as well. Anything digital, you could, you know, you can um, uh, go to Globaltronics and uh, visit our showroom in um, Edsa, near Edsa, in um, Green Hills, no? And um, we also, on top of uh, providing LED billboards and all that, we have more than. 20 LED sites that you can choose from, from your for your advertising needs. It's nationwide. Book. So it's glad to be here and be part of this activity. We may not have a booth, but for your anything advertising, any advertising requirements that you may have, please contact us. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Rhea. Okay. Thank you. Next, please. Hello, good morning po. My name is Sian. I'm from Mapo Planet. I'm basically part of the operations management of Mapo Planet. So this is the second time uh, I think we're joining the World Travel Expo. And I think uh, the reason why we join here is um, our major target uh, in Clark is to be uh, accessible. And um, I think it's also the time to enjoy outside and outdoor activities and actually Aqua Planet is the biggest and most modern water theme park in um, the Philippines and uh, I hope to see you in the 21 to 23 event and we're also going to sell tickets uh, for our upcoming wish exclusive concert in Aqua Planet this coming December so um, see you guys there uh, for our discounted tickets and I hope everyone's having a good day thank you Thank you, Mr. Mark Christian Christian. Next up, we have our friend from IWG, Ms. Ruena. Thanks, JC. Good afternoon, everyone. So my name is uh, Wayne Natividad. I head the Partnership Growth and Network Development for International Workplace Group. So we were simply called IWG. Most of you know us as Regis, but we also have other brands such as Paces, HQ, as well as Signature. Now, our business is flexible workspaces or co-working spaces. We pioneered in the industry. We started operations back uh, 30 years ago. Here in the Philippines, we've been in operations for over 20 years. So currently, we have 23 locations. We have three franchise partners and two managed uh, partners. So these are actually our second time to join the World Travel Expo. Last year, we did join, but it's virtual, so we're very excited to do it face-to-face -face this time. And we very much look forward to providing more insights about flexible workspace and how it blends with the hospitality industry. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you, Ms. Ruena. Now let's hear from our friend, our gold sponsor for World Travel Expo 2022, IMO, IMS Asia. Mr. Earl Ariona. Hello, good morning everyone. My name is Earl. So this is our fifth year joining the World Travel Expo. 
Um, basically, our objective is to uh, cascade awareness on eye care. So also, we want to be the people's partner when, when they go out. And um, they want to see the tourist destinations and all that. Um, we want to um, also inform everyone that this is the National Eye Care Awareness Month. And we're happy to inform you that this coming uh, October 21, we'll be bringing our first ever brand ambassador, Mr. Ken Chan, to be with us in this event. So he will be in our booth. There are so many um, uh, fun things to do in our booth. So come and visit us um, with the, uh, our activities, uh, the whole day activities there. So let's visit the uh, Eye Amazing World through IMO the uh, uh, number one partner for travel and the uh, eye care essential for our travelers. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Mr. Earl Teona, Senior Marketing Manager of IMS Asia Philippines, IMO. Next, please. All right, I'm Brian from Philippine Airlines. So I just want to share to everyone that uh, for us in PAL, most of our projections for this year were shattered. And the reason for that one is the sharp, uh, sharp, uh, sharp recovery of demand. So it's correct, you mentioned earlier that uh, the revenge travel, so revenge travel is real. Although we are uh, uh, facing potential headwinds moving forward, as we all know, uh, fuel still, uh, is still increasing, so that definitely that's why the fares right now are still higher than what they were in 2019. But we do acknowledge that, so that's why we're partnering with World Travel Expo in offering our super saver deals in the event so to encourage more people to travel and to fly with Philippine Airlines especially now that we are ramping up our international and domestic operations and uh, and also for countries like Japan, Korea, Hong Kong and, and China that will open up in the uh, near future so that's all thank you thank you sir Leonard Next up, let's welcome another friend of ours from this time, I think, from PNB. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Sheila Kaeg Dilog. Uh, so we are happy to be part of the World Travel Expo. Um, since um, economy has opened up and travel is back, uh, we want a venue to promote uh, to our cardholders the best packages, uh, travel deals, and offers. Um, uh, P, uh, during the event, PNB will be offering um, um, free 0% um, installment uh, with uh, uh, accredited merchants and we will also be giving some gifts uh, for those who will apply so please visit our booth uh, to give you a snapshot of our products we issue a um, wide range of um, products uh, we issue MasterCard, Visa and Union Pay um, we have offers ranging from rebates, uh, low interest card, free annual fee card uh, and of course, um, card uh, travel card, which is a partnership with Philippine Airlines. So this is the PNB Palma Buhay Miles Master Card. So we invite everyone to please visit our booth and um, join us and apply. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Ms. Sheila. Next up, let's welcome our friend from Air Asia. Yes, hi, good morning. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Jansen Mo. I'm the Assistant Marketing Manager for Air Asia. And of course, as we all know, during the pandemic, um, it really affected the travel industry, especially also the airline industry. And I think Air Asia has been very resilient throughout this pandemic. We offered a lot of innovative products and, um, and services during the pandemic, and we continue to do so. And during the pandemic, actually, we were able to launch new routes, domestic. We launched Domagueta and Rojas, and of course, we reopened now our international routes. Um, we're known for our flights to ASEAN. Um, but of course, we also are already reopening our flights across Asia. So that includes Korea, Japan, Taiwan, and opening our hubs around the Philippines as well. So we're planning to already reopen our, our flights from Cebu and from Clark and from Calibo as well, aside from Manila. So there's a lot of offers that we will be providing during the World Travel Expo. So um, aside from that, Air Asia is now more than just an airline. So throughout the pandemic, we've launched a lot of new products. Um, aside from just being Air Asia, the airline, 
which is the Air Asia Super app, which is what we're very excited to offer also during the World Travel Expo. So to actually talk more about or introduce um, the Air Asia Super app, I'd also like to share the mic with Trisha Terada, our communications manager for Air Asia Super app. Hi everyone, good afternoon. So we are the Air Asia Super app in Air Asia Philippines. We're very excited to take part in the World Trade or World Travel Expo 6 because I think like most of you, we share the belief that travel and tourism are among the main drivers for economic recovery and that's why we are very much supportive of such initiatives. And at the same time, we want to get the word out that Air Asia is no longer just an airline. We are now a super app that caters to all your travel and lifestyle needs. So from your flights, to your hotels, to your activities, we got that covered in the app. And from time to time, we offer a lot of discounts. We're also sending the word out that traveling doesn't have to be expensive. And we want everyone to know that, you know, it's really a good way to unleash from the two year lockdowns so it's really a good it's really sending a good message that you know everyone can travel with air asia and with our other partners in the tourism and travel industry thank you so much from our friends from air asia philippines again it's trisha terada air asia super app communications and public relations manager and mr jansen Ngo. Air Asia Assistant Route Marketing Manager. We'd also like to once again acknowledge the presence of PATA Chairman, Mr. Bob Sozobrado, and from Turismo, Mr. Mike Pereira. Now we will be opening the floor to our friends from the media. If you guys have any questions, please raise your hand and we will entertain questions.